Good morning, Lazy Keto with Jess. So this video tutorial is going to show you how to upload your own files to our group for future use for you and everybody else. If you look here on the screen, you'll see that I am maneuvering in the Lazy Keto with Jess group. I'm on my computer, but you can also do this um, on your phone at the top of your phone screen. You'll see that you have some of these um, icons and names of places that you can go within the group, whether it's the discussion, the announcement, where the members are, events, etc. Um, for now, because it's easier to use my laptop, I'm going to perform um, a tutorial about how to create a file within the group. So you'll see here that there's a files tab. I'm going to click on that. And it's going to take me into a part of the group where we keep files. And as you can see, um, some people have put recipes here. One of the moderators, Lisa, has put some carb manager settings, which is a tutorial on how to adjust your carb manager, etc. There's mason jar ice cream and barbecue sauce. Anything that you want to find here, you can do a search in the group right here where it says search this group, you can type in um, something as simple as chicken and it will probably pull up any chicken recipe or anybody talking about chicken. Same for obscure things like barbecue sauce, ketchup, etc. So once you're in the files portion, you have two options. You can upload a file, one that you may have already created on a Word document or a Google document. Um, or you can create a document, which is what I'm going to do right now because I realize some people don't have access to Microsoft Office. So I click on the create a document and it says here, drag or click it to add a photo, which I don't want to do, um, but I can. The title is um, chocolate chip cookies. And here I'm going to write something, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the tab that I already have open. And see how there's a picture here? I can right click to copy the image, go back to the document. I don't want to add any of my pictures. Um, it won't allow me. Okay, I may have to fix that. Um, but I'll, I'll save that picture. Actually, I'll save it. Let's see. So I can save this image. Um, I'm going to go into, I have a document file for keto. Oh, I have keto recipes, so I'll just save it right here. And I'm going to give that a minute to download. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to scroll down and look for the recipe. So you see you have the ingredient list here for the chocolate chip cookies. If you continue, these websites are intentionally long and you have to get through them because they're on people's blog sites and they want you to read all of their stuff. So you can see that they've separated the ingredients and the instructions. So I'm going to highlight and right click to copy. I'm going to come back into the document. I'm going to um, hit control V to paste into the document. And then I'm going to scroll back over to the tab. And I'm going to highlight by holding down the right um, button um, I'm going to, or I mean the left button, I'm going to right click, copy, go back to the document, and scroll down. And I'm going to hold the control key and the V key um, to paste. So here we have a document that has the recipe, and I'm now going to add a photo. Let's see. Uh, upload a new photo, documents, I'll go to Keto Recipes, and I have the chocolate chip cookie picture here that I've already saved, and there's a picture of that. So now we have a recipe that is very similar, or you could cut and paste the link into the group, but if you do that, then we don't have the file. Now, 
to make sure this person has um, credit, I'm going to actually cut and paste the link into the recipe so that she can have credit for this. So now I'm going to publish and see allow group members to, I'm not going to allow anybody to edit this, so I'm going to uncheck that and I'm going to publish the document. And that's it guys. So now we can go into files and you can see that I added a chocolate chip cookie recipe and if I click on that link this is exactly what y'all are going to see. So for those of you that like to add recipes here, if you could take that extra step and give yourself an extra minute to just add a recipe here, then anybody can file it, find it and file it in their own Facebook at any time. I appreciate you all. And if you have any questions, let me know.